discrete Fourier transform. That is DFT. Abbreviation is DFT, discrete Fourier transform. The discrete Fourier transform is a powerful computation tool which allows us to evaluate the Fourier transform on a digital computer or specially designed hardware. Unlike DTFT, DTFT means discrete time Fourier transform uh, defined only for sequences of finite length because continuous and periodic because it is continuous and periodic whereas DFT is obtained by sampling one period of the Fourier transform at a finite number of frequency points. So the sample discrete time Fourier transform DTFT of a finite length discrete time signal is known as discrete Fourier transform. So once again I will repeat the sample discrete time Fourier transform that is the sample DTFT the sample DTFT of a finite length discrete time signal is known as discrete Fourier transform that is DFT the definition of DFT is so we are going to sample uh, uh, of a sampling of a discrete time Fourier transform of a finite length discrete time signal okay the DFT plays a very important role in the implementation of many signal processing algorithms apart from determining the frequency content of a signal DFT is used to perform linear filtering operations in the frequency domain so let us see the definition of DFT so I am going to consider a discrete time signal x of n now I'm going to consider a discrete time signal x of n having finite duration say uh, it it is having the range the range of the signal is 0 to n minus 1 the range of n is 0 to n minus 1 if we calculate uh, it is we consider discrete time signal of finite length as per the definition of a DFT it is the what it is the sampled version of DTFT DTFT means discrete time Fourier transform of a finite length discrete time signal. So as per the definition, so I consider here a discrete time signal having finite length. The length is from 0 to n minus 1. If I calculate DTFT for this one, that is discrete time, as per the definition of discrete time Fourier transform, as we discussed in the signal sense system, x of omega, the definition of DTFT. So if I calculate discrete time Fourier transform for this uh, discrete time signal, so definition of DTFT is summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e to the power minus j omega n. So let us represent equation number 1. So what we did here? We consider one discrete time signal x of n of finite length. For this uh, finite length discrete time signal, I have taken the discrete time Fourier transform. See, this is the discrete time Fourier transform of the signal. Now, one more point we have to do with this do the, to do this for the signal. That is sampling. We have to perform the sampling for the signal. So let us sample x of omega using total n equally spaced samples in the range. Now I am going to sample x of omega by n equally spaced samples. So this frequency component varies from 0 to 2 pi. The range of this frequency is 0 to 2 pi. Now I am going to sample this uh, x of omega by n, n equally spaced, capital N, capital N equally spaced samples in the range. The range is given 0 to 2 pi. So the sampling interval is, so the sampling interval is what happens it becomes 2 pi by n because the range is 2 pi if i sample this frequency by n equally spaced n samples then the sampling interval sampling interval means the distance between successive samples is 2 pi by n okay so that is we sample x of omega using the frequencies omega equal to 2 pi by n where k is an integer value. The value of k varies from 0, 1, 2, so on, n minus 1. Or in, in short, we can write the value of k varies from 
zero to n minus one. Hence, this this one we are going to write as omega equal to r suffix omega k equal to two pi by n into k, where the value of k varies from zero to n minus one. If I substitute this in the equation one, then equation one becomes if I substitute this value omega equal to 2 pi by n wherever omega is there wherever omega is there in the equation one if I substitute by 2 pi by n into k what happens x of 2 pi by n into k is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 then x of n as it is then e to the power minus j omega equal to what 2 pi by n into k n as it is so let us represent equation 2 now i am going to rewrite the equation 2 as x of k is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e to the power minus j 2 pi by n into k into n. So what is the difference between this equation 2 and this one? Here uh, in place of 2 pi by n into k I return k only k I return. So note that we have written x of k instead of we have written x of k instead of x of 2 pi by n into k because the values of x of 2 pi by n into k are addressed by k only. Hence, k becomes better shorthand notation. So, here k indicates the index of the frequency. k indicates the, this k indicates the index of the frequency. Okay. So, in short, we can write. So, this is the what? This equation will tell us what? It is the The above equation say so, or we can rewrite as equation number three the equation three will tell us that it is the n point dft equation equation number three is known as equation three is known as n point dft equation n point dft equation n point of equation is what x of k equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n multiplied by e to the power minus j 2 pi by n into k equation 3 is the it is the what n point dft equation okay so while working with the dft it is uh, uh, we have to introduce one complex quantity that complex quantity is known as 12 factor w of n equal to e to the power minus j 2 pi by n. It is the complex quantity. This is the complex quantity. J term is there. Complex quantity. It is known as total factor. Why we have to introduce this total factor in the DFT equation? Because uh, in order to reduce the uh, complexity of calculation, in order to reduce the calculation steps, so we are making introduce of total factor in the DFT equation. Definition of DFT because it has some properties like uh, periodicity property uh, some properties we are going to discuss about the total factor by using those properties we can reduce the calculation of dft so because of that reason we are introducing this total factor into the definition of dft so if you substitute this value in the definition of dft then dft equation becomes equation number three the dft equation becomes x of k equal to x of k is what it is the n point dft of signal x of n that is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n w of n because e to the power minus j 2 pi by n so this term e to the power minus j 2 pi by n this term is replaced by what wn and left with what power term a n 
so this is the what it is also what it is the equation for n point dft it is the equation for n point dft where the value of k where the value of k varies from 0 to n minus 1 okay this is about the definition of dft